This is Christopher, and here's our second look at the Akash $35 tablet from India. And uh, in this particular uh, look, we're going to focus more on the tablet for its intended audience, and that is sc school children for education. Now, um, as you can see here, again, the biggest problem we've had with the tablet is it's very, very slow. It can't handle uh, uh, panning very well, uh, you know, large changes in the graphics display. But uh, we're not going to dwell on that. Instead, we're going to start thinking about uh, dealing with documents. So we're going to click here on Documents to Go and bring up uh, Word to Go. The documents to Go is a pretty uh, well-known program. And first thing we tried to do is we tried to create a uh, new document. But uh, for whatever reason, we could not get the keyboard to come out. And I figured that's got to be some, uh, some simple bug that probably when the full version comes out, they will... Uh, have resolved. Uh, and anyways, I actually found that the keyboard is not that useful. It's better to use a keyboard when interfacing with this device, and we'll cover that later. So instead, we clicked on one of the uh, the only docs that we could find when we uh, got this thing, and it did. It opened. It seemed to read. Uh, it didn't display graphics, as you can see here. We're not sure what the problem is there, but we were able to scroll up and down and read the document uh, reasonably well, and. Uh, we found that the scroll rate here was not that bad. Again, this is a $35 tablet. So f given that price point and, you know, for kids who have actually access to like no technology, this is, I at least find, uh, useful or good enough, uh, as it were. So we decide, okay, well, let's try uh, Android Office. Uh, our test unit came with Android Office installed. And, uh, what we were surprised is none of the, uh, the new text documents and uh, did not seem to work. The only thing we could do was look at spreadsheets. So uh, hopefully, again, when the uh, final version comes out, we can get our hands on that and to test it. So we fell back on our old standby. Uh, we opened up Notepad uh, and decided to try to, uh, typing in there. So as we tried in some other films, the virtual keyboard is... You know, it simply just comes up way too slow, and we find it's fairly difficult to use. We actually find what's uh, more useful is using um, a keyboard. So as you can see here, I tried typing a uh, test, and you know, it's okay. Again, I was standing sideways, which uh, made it a little bit harder. But now, as you can see, I'm going to connect in a uh, external keyboard through the USB slot. You know, see so you do that on your iPad. And uh, when I connected it up, it actually recognized uh, my USB keyboard uh, pretty fast. I was surprised. I clicked it in. I waited about a few seconds. I just started hitting a key real quick, and boom, I got uh, some uh, recognition. So I started typing on it, and uh, it actually works really, really well. Uh, I was typing sideways on a keyboard I don't use very much, which shows my horrible typing skills. But um, again, it's a $35 tablet. Uh, you put on a cheap, uh, a cheap uh, five dollar keyboard. You got something useful for creating content. Adeco, and I'm totally guessing that's how it's pronounced. Adeco Premium, and uh, we brought up uh, Art of War, and it worked pretty well. So basically, I kind of have like a thirty five dollar Kindle in my hand that tries to run Android when you think about it. Uh, but if you again consider the goal here is to get this out into you know the villages in India imagine that I can load you know uh, whole textbooks of information on this thing and as you can see I'm panning you know it's not super smooth but it's working well enough that it's useful I can read it so we decide alright let's test this thing out so we got our USB key here generic USB key plugged into the USB port on the side and uh, we gave it a few seconds for uh, the system to uh, find the key, initialize. And uh, anything you put in as an SD or whatever, it always calls it, or I'm sorry, any USB key you put in always calls it an SD card. Uh, that threw us off initially, but uh, we figured it out. So we uh, went to the uh, I.O. file manager, and kaboom, there's all our documents, PowerPoint slides, PDFs. It also found MPEG-3s, it found videos and everything else. So we decide, all right, let's take a look at a PowerPoint, hit sli uh, slideshow to go, and uh, up it came. And so, it's, it, and as you see, it's using documents to go. And uh, it took a little bit time to load. 
Uh, the I.O. port is not that fast, but it still worked well enough uh, to be useful. And, and for a beta device, uh, well enough to be useful is actually uh, pretty impressive. Uh, it's not going to win any speed contests, but as you can see here, it's usable. And I think that's really, you know, the, the most important uh, thing to note with the device. So if you can imagine, for $35, you can give a whole classroom of students this device, and every semester you just give them a USB, and it has all your textbooks, has all, uh, all your uh, reading materials. Uh, you know, you, I guess you could put exams on it, uh, simple I.O. stuff. And uh, the savings in producing and moving textbooks in itself makes this project worth it uh, right there. So um, pretty impressed. It's not fast, but it works. Throw a USB key in, pull in a file, read it. I think that's the biggest win right there.